Hey everyone, welcome back. Just like I promised in my last video, I want to talk about Drop It today. This trick is good if you want to play with your dog because then they'll drop the treat in front of you. Or if your dog tends to use their mouth a lot, they pick things up and you can just say drop it. That way they, um, they won't hurt themselves or mess anything up of yours. <laughs> so what you're going to need is some treats, small, and um, some toys. Alright, the trick to this trick is you, um, you make them want the treat more than the toy. So, put the treat in your hand, make a fist, take their toy, throw it. When you bring it back, let them smell it, but keep the fist. Drop it. Good girl. She knows this trick, but I'm doing this because she needs a refresher really bad because she won't do it at all. I think all of a sudden it's coming back to her because... <laughs> all right, let's do that again one more time. Treat in the palm. Closed fist. Go get it. You want to open it slightly so they can smell it and that way they drop the treat or the toy. Drop it. Good girl. Just like all my other tricks, make sure to say the command when they do it. The only time that you want to say the command for them to do it is when you know that they understand what the command is. Let's try that again. Treat in hand. Toy. Go get it. Open it up a little so they can smell. That way they'll drop the treat. Drop it. Good girl. That was good. Let's try without the treat. Go get it. No treat, but still we're gonna do the fist. Drop it. Drop it. Okay, she doesn't quite get it yet. That's okay, that's gonna happen. Just keep doing it. Let's try it one more time. Go get it. Drop it. Ah uh ah. -uh. You see, she picked it back up, and I corrected her with the ah uh ah. -uh. If you watch my first video, I show you how to do corrections and rewards when you're doing tricks. That was a correction because she dropped it, but then she decided to pick it back up. <laughs> Let's try it again. So she doesn't get a treat for that because she didn't do it. Drop it. Good girl. She did it really good that time. Good girl. Always reward when they understand because it makes them feel just as good as you do when they finally um, know what you mean when you say the commands. All right. Let's see now. Um, I'm not going to do the treat. I want to see if she can now relate a fist to drop it. That's a big factor in this trick. The, I mean, you want them, you want to have those treats for them to um, want the treat more than the toy. But the reason I put it in the fist like that is because you always, it's always, always good to have a um, hand gesture that goes along with every trick. Like for example, for sit, I use this because I have the treat in my, in my fingers. For lay down, I just point at the ground. Um, for drop it, I do the fist and high five, you know, just high five and shake just like that. But you you want to always make a hand gesture because maybe if you don't want to like sit there and they're like sit, sit, you know, and get really embarrassed, you could just do the hand gesture. So, all right. Ah, ah. See, I corrected her. She tried to jump in my lap because I'm holding the, the toy in the air. She knows corrections really well. Go get it. No treat, still the fist. Drop it. Good girl. She dropped it. It took her a few seconds, but that's okay. Each step is always something to celebrate. They're puppies, you know? This is, this is one of the hardest tricks because it has something to do with fun, 
toys. They're just like kids. If you try to, you know, teach them things while they're trying to play, they're gonna be like, I don't wanna learn, I wanna play, you know? So this is a pretty hard trick. Go get it. But I think y'all understand the basics of this trick. I just wanted to do a little refresher on her because she did forget the trick. She's also kind of hyper right now. Um, always make sure you have play time before um, training time because if you don't have play time, then they are just going to be bouncing off the walls, not even caring about what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, just to recap. When you're starting the trick, always have the treat in hand. When you throw your toy and they're coming back, put the fist in their face, open slightly so they can smell the treat. When they drop the toy, say drop it and reward. After they um, are getting it a little bit more, you want to get to that point where you can say the command and they'll do it without you having to coax them into the command with treats. Drop it. Good girl, she dropped it. All right, and that's it for this video today. Uh, my next video I'll probably upload on Wednesday. I want to talk about homemade toys for your dogs. Toys are super expensive and they're not always gonna like the toys that you buy. So it's better just to make your own. And if it doesn't work out, then that's fine. Most of the stuff, uh, the supplies, are gonna be stuff you have at home already. But if you don't, you know, cheap stuff at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or whatever. Make sure to comment below if you have a specific trick you want to see me do next. So um, check back on Wednesday for homemade dog toys and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.